everyone and welcome to day three of my horror movie review marathon and I've got your Dawn of the Dead 1979 movie review. Four people seek refuge in a shopping mall as the dead are rising. Can they possibly make it out alive? As far as the story goes, George A. Romero directs this 1979 horror movie with zombies. Since this is the first time I'm seeing this, it's much different than what I thought it was going to end up being since I had previously seen Zack Snyder's 2004 remake first. Right off the bat, it really felt slow moving um, as far as the pacing of the movie went and in the beginning it didn't quite explain why this was all happening but of course who really needs to know how this all happens anyway, right? I felt like it had this military type of scenario in the beginning, or at least there are these police officers trying to take care of some kind of situation. I really didn't understand where this was going to go, but I guess, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Then later on it starts to focus more heavily on the whole mall situation, which is obviously the whole focal point of the entire movie, which is obviously the coolest. As far as the casting goes, as well as the acting, uh, it was pretty decent and it was believable at best. I mean, uh, all I basically was trying to think, okay, uh, the one black guy in this movie totally reminded me of the guy from Night of the Living Dead and of course that blonde chick totally looks like Sarah Polly from the Dawn of the Dead remakes. I felt like it was really weird as soon as this whole biker gang came into the mix and I was like, okay, you guys are so random. Like, get out of town. You don't need to be here. But thankfully that whole scene was not even that long. So really, I did not care. The things that I did like about this movie, there was a significant amount of blood and violence and especially with those zombie kills, left and right, and even when the zombies were killing the regular people. Like, I thought that was pretty intense, and there was some comedy in this movie, which I did uh, find to be pretty hilarious. So this movie did remind me a lot of when I was playing those Dead Rising games, which, you know, I gotta go back to seeing if I can really master those. However, the things that I didn't like about this movie, I guess I'm not complaining too much about this, but the makeup job on the zombies was just not to my liking and I really couldn't help but notice how much uh, it took me out of the movie every time I saw a zombie just not really look like a typical zombie. So it was just not what I would have pictured and I guess it was okay back in the day, I don't really know. Even though the zombies could literally tear your flesh off, which they did show a lot of graphicness, and that was kind of gross, but had to turn away a couple times, but then again, I'm not complaining about that. Overall, I would say this movie did have its merits, and I think it does stand as a good zombie flick to watch. So I would recommend checking out seeing this movie, and I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Dawn of the Dead 1979, and how do you think this compares to other zombie movies out there, or even especially the, uh, does this hold up better than the remake? And come back tomorrow for day four of my horror review marathon. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, Come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.